Okay, we're right. just oh, coming up to 30 seconds of broadcast. Uh, that's 33 at the moment. 39. I've got a I still don't know what I'm supposed to say. I'm going to 20 seconds to broadcast. 20 seconds. Good evening and welcome to the new gaming show PVP. In this first episode, we'll take you back to a time when digital gaming broke out of the ball and paddle obsessed 1970s and invaded homes across the country with its bleeps, blocks and confusingly named gorillas. You guessed it, the 1980s. Now for many of us, this was the first time we experienced video games on a screen. I'm sure you all remember Pac-Man, Space Invaders and of course Tetris. In today's show, we'll revisit some of these awesome retro games, battle each other for points on this series gaming scoreboard, and visit Rob in the gamepad to find out about some of the upcoming things in the gaming community. You can tell us which games you used to play by tweeting us at, at PVP Show. Now, you might be thinking that a lot of these older games are dying out. These consoles weren't exactly made to last, and replacing them could become pretty costly. Well, if you're a retro gaming buff, then pay attention, because we may have found a way for you to save all your hard-earned pocket money. On today's gamepad, we have some amazing new things to show you guys at home. If you miss the good old days of old school titles and 16-bit pixel worlds, then there's one console that's right for you, the Retroblox. It's a brand new console that provides a modern platform for retro gaming. It fuses old school with the high tech of today by allowing you to play with original cartridges and controllers. Let's just hope you kept those NES cartridges. The wait is over. The Nintendo Switch is finally out. The Switch is a portable handheld console with detachable controllers and has the option to connect to a TV. It's the perfect package. Nintendo are also releasing the new Zelda alongside the console and have announced 80 other games in the near future. We'll be trying it out in the studio later, so stay tuned for more. But for now, head over to our Twitter, Instagram or website to keep up with all the latest gaming news. Hello everyone, I'm Rob and this is my gamepad. Now, we all fear the day when our beloved childhood consoles will become extinct. But what if I told you that this catastrophe could be avoided? Today, we take a peek at a new option to help you play your old games in their original glory, but with a new modern twist. This is the Retro Box. It's designed for people who own the original physical copies of games and don't want to use ROMs. With its launch, it will be able to play games from the NES, Sega Genesis, PlayStation 1 and loads more using what Retroblox is calling hybrid emulation. It's a new take on old school gaming. It's still currently in development on Kickstarter, but it's soon to be released in April this year. So, what do you guys think? Is this something you'd buy? I think this is brilliant. It's such yeah. a good idea. It looks awesome. Yeah. Okay, I mean, do you still own your old games and consoles? I have... PlayStation games. Okay. Um, and probably a few GameCube games as well. Yeah, mine's yeah. mainly PlayStation, but I, I don't own any cartridges. All of mine are basically PlayStation discs and stuff. Yeah, yeah I mean, I, I own all of my old games and consoles, but I think having this one system that unifies it all into one place rather than having to have 20 different yeah. things plugged into the TV at once. Definitely, yeah. yeah. I don't actually have any of like the complete consoles. I've just got bits and pieces. So I can't actually play mine, so this would be pretty good for me. Mm. Yeah, I also think it's good because you can introduce other gamers who probably weren't able to play the original consoles. Yeah. Yeah. You can introduce them to it via Retroblox. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Especially like young kids and stuff, that would definitely be good for it. Yeah, yeah I mean, uh, being a dad, it would be great, wouldn't it? Just yeah. getting your kids to 
Yeah. Play all the games that you used to love as a kid. Reliving the nostalgia. Yes, exactly. You know, I the, think that's the main the thing they're doing, isn't it? Here? Yeah. But do you think it will take off? I think it will, yeah. I mean, dependent on its price, it's uh, in Kickstarter's phase at the moment. In the next few months, it will start its Kickstarter. But you're looking at about £300, so it's fairly affordable for what yeah. it is. Well, when it comes out, I think I'm definitely going to consider getting myself one. Uh, yeah, I think yeah. I would get one too. Yeah. Thank you very much, Rob. Um, now, earlier this week, we competed in the first ever PvP challenge. Ladies and gentlemen, fasten your seatbelts. You're about to be taken on the ride of your life. So, welcome to our first ever PvP challenge. Today, Lucy and I decided to play the 1986 classic, Outrun. Let's do this. I've forgotten how to drive. <laughs> okay, That ready. could be oh, problematic. Can I go? Oh, okay, ready? I'm ready, I'm going. Oh, it's the graphics of PvPs. Yeah. Oh. It's, it's very noticeable already. I quite like it. I won't like it. There's something about it, I think the style. It's so, like, simple that I was going to say you can't really go wrong, but I've just smashed into a palm tree. So. Yeah. Oh, wait, we've got a... a oh, my right. God! Well, that doesn't look quite right. No, it just kind of, like... Oh, wait, oh, okay. Didn't make it look... It just kind of, like, drifts right. off into the distance. Oh, look, yeah. there's another one. There's another one, one yeah. Where have all these... Oh, oh, oh no! no. <laughs> oh. oh, brutal. You were so That's close. That's all right. Well. Like, so I'm happy with that. You got an OK score. 4,500, wait, what's that? 458,330, <laughs> big numbers. I mean, nailed it. That's a, that's a big score to beat. Right. I think I can do it though. I'd, I'd like to see you try. Give it a go. Cool, let's do it. Go. Yes. Oh. Come on, move, move. Come on, I'm gonna Did make you hit something point. then? Is that, why are you going sideways? I'm not going sideways. That's the laptop <laughs> doing that. I'm not doing anything. Okay, come on. I think I might actually win. I thought I was going to lose, but you know. I don't know why I can't move. It's just not moving. I think you're just Oh, really wow. Bad. She was hitting me there. I think it's because you were like... She's getting more and more aggressive every time. <laughs> here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh. Okay, never mind. Game over. That just sums Did up I win? that whole round, I'm afraid. Did I win? I don't know. I have to find out what my score is. Two seven four nine two zero. What do you think? What was mine? I can't remember. Maybe can I? <laughs> I think I, I don't know. Think. It's something similar to that, I think. Okay, good times. Now, after that shocking performance from me, the scoreboard stands as this. I got four hundred and fifty thousand points, and Josh got an appalling two hundred and seventy thousand points, which means you drum roll. I get the first point on the series leaderboard. I'm very, very happy for you. <laughs> Now, we've all heard of the world of Super Mario, and following a recent announcement in the February Nintendo event, we will be seeing our favourite Italian plumber and friends returning to our screens. Last week celebrated the release of the Nintendo Switch. But Rob, what can it actually do? So this is the Nintendo Switch here. It is a beautiful little console, and it takes what Nintendo do best with their handholds, handhelds, but puts it into a nice little package that can be used on the TV as well. Yeah. So you can play many games wherever you are, whether that be on the go, with your friends at a party, just docking it or taking it with you. I was just going to say, it's a really unique design because it, it looks is. like everything all in one. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful. You, you get this main tablet and you've got the dock and a few other accessories that you can get for it as well. So if I was to actually buy the console, what games would I be able to play with it? So at the moment, there are three main games that have been released for it, the box editions anyway. Uh, the first is Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, which is the big one. This is the one that everyone's been talking about and everyone loves, because who doesn't love a bit of Zelda in it? <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Um, and we've also got One Two Switch, which is Nintendo showing off what they can do, very much like Wii Sports, Wii Party, that sort of realm. Yeah. We've also got Bomberman, which has been released which I haven't played myself and don't really plan to, but if you're into that sort of thing, it's there, you've got it. Uh, and in the future, obviously, we're looking at a lot more games coming out, including Splatoon. Well, well, hold, I'm going to hold you there. Right, lots of games coming out, but how much do you think this is going to cost? I mean, at the moment, you're looking at about 280 gold coins. You can get it from Amazon, Google, anywhere, really. Nintendo newsletter? Whoa, nice graphics. I'd like to get my hands on that game. You mean you haven't played it yet? We can play it on my Nintendo Entertainment System.
Nintendo has been creating games and consoles from the early 1980s. It has produced a great many iconic consoles and franchises over the years. Here on PVP, we've decided to have a look at a few of the company's best loved creations. We start in 1983 with the release of the Nintendo Entertainment System, NES, in Japan. It was an 8-bit video game console, and you could get games like Super Mario Bros, The Legend of Zelda, and Kirby. These revolutionary games would keep fans playing for the next 32 years. Seven years later, the 1990s gave birth to the Game Boy. The Game Boy was the first handheld games console produced by Nintendo, which would spawn a whole new generation of handhelds and get fans drooling in anticipation. The SNES in 1992 had twice the built-in memory than its predecessor, the NES. It heralded the return of Zelda, Samus and the troublesome plumbers Mario and Luigi. The year 2000 brought with it the turn of the century and the time of handheld consoles. Luckily for all those avid Nintendo acolytes, the DS came with backwards compatibility for Game Boy cartridges, entertaining youngsters and gaming gurus alike. Nintendo released the Wii in 2006, a console that you could play using a hand remote and a nunchuck, not to be confused with the ninja kind, combining standard Nintendo controls and an analog joystick. Mario Kart was one of the games you could choose to buy with the Wii, with new characters and maps to play with up to four friends. It all made for a good night in. We've now got the Switch docked into PC, into TV mode, so we can show you one of its games, and one of its lineup games, I guess. This is 1-2-Switch. I'm so ready. This is going to be great. <laughs> this looks really cool already. So, 1-2-Switch is uh, Nintendo's show-off game to show off what the console can do. It's got 28 different games in it. Uh, I mean, we were playing Ball Count the other day, and it was brilliant fun, wasn't it? It was showing off yeah. the HD rumble of the controllers. Yeah. And yeah. you could really feel just how many balls were in there and it was the strangest feeling yeah, yeah i think that was weird. something to do with the, the motion controls within the controller yeah, yeah really really clever milk which you'll be playing later uh quick draw which yeah. you two were playing earlier mm. and it was great fun just no, seeing good. how scared it made you yeah, it it's really the anticipation i'm just like waiting for it I yeah it really made you jump but it was brilliant tense. fun <laughs> um you've got things like soda shake shave you can tell that there's they've really put thought into this yeah. just giving you there's a so really many. wide variety yeah. Yeah, 28 yeah, yeah. different ones and each shows off a different aspect so we'll jump you into milk here which is probably one of the most obscure yeah. games i can already imagine what we're going to have to do so uh, <laughs> yeah. you've both milked a cow in your life right funnily enough no no i haven't uh... okay well this will be the first time then uh, hit your triggers you're going to be holding your controller up like this, mm -hmm. holding the two buttons on the side, yeah. and yep. just doing a milking motion. Okay. But don't look at the screen. Oh, this okay. is the main reason for this game, is to get you to interact with each other in the real world. Yep, hit yes and ours. Let's go. I'm ready for this. Milk! Get milking. Hmm. Oh, it feels Yeah, strange. that feels... You can, like, <laughs> you're, you're, I mean, you're, out you're doing so well. Good. You're winning so yeah. far, I have to say. Uh, Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, <laughs> Lucy, it looks no, 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 like you've no. had much practice. I mean, you're getting better now, but... Oh, you, you can just tell this is something great that you can play with your family. You're just getting grandma around and getting her to milk a cow with you. <laughs> oh, that's that's awesome. such I should do. Yeah, yeah exactly. L look at the concentration here and... All done. Okay. Oh. oh. Left win. Oh my gosh. How did you win that? That was cool. Oh my gosh, you won. That was actually, that was actually really Okay, good so fun. we've got our winner for the first ever PvP series leaderboard, and that is Player One. I really thought I was going to have that. Well, I'm afraid that is all we've got time for this week, guys. But, you know, better luck next week, Josh. I think you're going to need it. Yeah, sure thing. Join us next week when we jump forward into the 90s, the decade when gaming turned to circular discs and graphics evolved into angular boobs. It's going to be great. Can't wait. Until See next week, guys.